Hi, I'm Toys Bag Zen. Today, we're going to take this beat up G1 Warpath and see if we can fix it up so that it transforms properly and looks right. So if you're interested in something like that, please uh, stick around and uh, watch the process. Oh yeah, and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So we've got this Warpath, it's a G1 Transformer, 1984 Takara on the bottom. It's pretty beat up, yellowed, the tip is broken, the head doesn't really go down all the way. There's a crack there at the bottom of the turret. So we're going to try to figure out how to fix this. I've never taken one of these apart before. And this, uh, this is a Lego missile I found in a Lego bin that I have full of parts. I'm going to try to use this to make the tip of the barrel of the cannon. So this thing for a small mini transformer, this thing has a lot of screws in it. So I've got to figure out how to take this thing apart. The head has a screw in it and the turret has a screw in it. I took the screw out of the head already. The uh, trick here is to try to take this apart without breaking any anything else. <laughs> so we've got two screws here at the bottom. We'll take these out first. there's three screws this allows us to take the front and back half apart and there's a piece that the center piece on the top came out too and there's two more screws here uh, that holds the back part together it's in two pieces so I'm going to take those two screws out. Oh, don't forget this one. So I'm trying to pull this apart but it's held together was by something else. I think the, the arms slash tracks, they're holding everything together and I don't want to break the arms by pulling them out of the center. So I'm just going to leave this the way it is. I'm going to clean uh, all the parts so I can probably get to everything, but I do have to fix the turret. So we need to take that apart. So there's a screw in the bottom when you lift the head up. And this is the only screw that has a wider head on it. So be aware of that if you're taking this apart. All the screws are the same except for the one that holds the turret together with the body. Now the turret itself, to take that apart, has two more screws. And 
The reason why I'm taking this apart is because, and that's what the screw looks like that holds the turret together, <clears throat> or that holds the turret to the body. The reason why I took those two screws out is not only I feel like it's going to be easier to take the head off, I don't want to break the head. There we go. But it also is going to enable me to fix the top and bottom part of the turret. You'll notice here the misshapen back. It's probably why the head wouldn't fit down flat. And there's a lot of stress marks. And here you can see the bottom part of the turret is completely split. Caused probably from forcing it up and down. So we're going to leave this part the way it is. All right, we're back. I've taken some time to clean everything. It's way better now. So much better when, they're, when the toys are clean. So we have to address uh, these broken, misshaped pieces. We'll do that here in a minute. You can see how that part of the turret is lopsided. Now that it's clean, the wheels turn, where before they didn't turn very well. Okay, let's deal with the misshapen parts. I've got some really hot boiling water in here. I'm hoping that this will allow me to adjust the plastic back to its uh, normal shape. Uh, heating the plastic up did work, but an unfortunate thing is, is that the plastic turned white. And um, I don't know why that happened. It's never happened to me before. It, I've never had plastic turn a different color from it being in boiling water. I don't know if it's just what kind of plastic they used or what, but... I also tried to take um, some polish compound to try to polish the white out just to see if that would work, but it did not. So I'm going to have to deal with it. But this is a learning process. Every time I repair a toy, it's always a learning process. I mean, in reality, you don't want to make it worse than it already is but at least this isn't a a g1 uh, optimus prime
but you can see that those pieces are now in the way that they were before they were forced and bent. I'm just going to add some um, some Gorilla Glue to that turret. There's a little piece of plastic that's misshapen and it's keeping that uh, opening apart. So I'm going to get rid of that piece of plastic. And um, I really need new blades for my for my X-Acto knife. I have some at work. I'll have to get some more. Um, but uh, there, that'll help it close it up. So I'm going to just get some crazy glue, glue that together. And it should be uh, just fine. So there's a crazy glue. I put a big glob in there and I'm going to use a toothpick to push the glue into the crack. I'm doing it on the inside so that you don't see, you know, the big globs of glue on the outside. Um, crazy glue is always messy to use. And once it gets on a spot where you don't want it, it ruins the finish unless you want to like... Um, sand it and, and redo it. So I'm going to use some baking soda. Here's a little trick uh, that we use in guitar repair. I am a guitar repair technician or a luthier they call us and uh, a lot of times you can use baking soda to cure CA glue or Gorilla Glue or Crazy Glue, whatever you want to call it. And it makes it cure faster. And there you go, it's all cured. Just going to just cleaning the excess um, baking soda there and that should work out just fine the bottom isn't too bad but the top got really white uh, I'm kind of uh, upset about that actually but um, well there you go so if you're gonna do this uh, make sure you don't get it too hot I may, may have had the um, water too hot but I didn't find that the water was hot enough so all right so let's make the turret this is what it looks like I put it in my uh, photo editing software and uh, I made it the size of the actual barrel of the um, of the warhammer so I know that the The cannon has to be eight millimeters long, including the round tip. So I'm going to make it about 11 millimeters. I'm going to put three millimeters of it into the barrel and crazy glue it in there. So I'm just going to use this plastic here, cut it to length and then shape it with my nippers.
Now this plastic that I'm using for the, the barrel or the cannon is uh, clear, like a transparent red. Not quite the same red as the, uh, as the toy, but I'm okay with that. I like the transparent red, I think it's cool. So here I'm just going to uh, drill in a pilot hole with my pin vise. I'm going to use a three millimeter in diameter drill bit to uh, make the uh, hole so that I can put the new piece in and glue it in. So here is our drill bit we're going to use here. And just carefully try to get that centered. Remember, I have to make it about three millimeters deep. And after some hand drilling and some careful shaping and gluing, this is what it looks like. I'm not going to bother painting this. This is fine for me. It looks good to me. Um, I just wanted something that will, you know, make it look more complete and functional. I'm going to let that cure overnight. And here we go. I did a little bit more shaping on the tip of it. The tip was a little bit the diameter of the tip was a little bit too big, so I filed that down and made it smaller, more like the original. I think it looks good. And everything is cured and ready to be put back together. Let's put the screws back in the bottom of the back part that I didn't really need to take out in the first place. But it is good that I took them out because they're metal and uh, I did give this thing a, a good bath. So I don't want the metal screws to be rusted. Um, so I usually take all the metal pieces out if, if possible. The only thing that was washed that was metal that was left in there was the the back wheels is on a metal axle. I left that in there because of course I couldn't get it out. This is held together with two more screws. This is the piece that goes in that you screw the turret to. It slides back and forth. But before we screw that in, we've got two screws that holds the turret together. And we've got to put the head on and screw the head together with another screw. So let's put those three screws in.
I got a different screwdriver. This is a magnetic screwdriver because this screw uh, was harder to put in. So um, having a magnetic screwdriver, I highly recommend. And there you can see how the head goes in. It's nice and flush with the, the top of the turret. Uh, and uh, you see I have the tip on there too. Now you can adjust the tension of the turret with that screw that I had in there. I just screwed in there. I'm going to loosen it just a tiny bit because it seems to be a little too tight. I want, it, I want to be able to move the turret back and forth side to side. And that looks good. Again, I'm pointing out the white on the turret. This would be pretty good if I hadn't, uh, if I didn't have that. So this used to have uh, one of those transfer stickers and I took it off and now I'm just using some lighter fluid to get rid of the sticky from the sticker. Oh, there's a little, still a little piece there somewhere. I can't seem to get it off. Must be part of the sticker still on there. There we go, that's better. Get that off. Now that that's all removed, I'm going to put a new sticker on it. I just got these uh, um, these stickers that I got from a toy show years ago from uh, Toy Hacks. I believe that's the company that makes them. They're from actually pretty close to where I live in Ontario probably drive to the in a half an hour and uh, and get them so there you go that was really fun if you enjoyed this please subscribe share the video like the video and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think see ya